Chris, you were just mentioning about those stats about lightning, where the data shows that folks who are struck by lightning, the majority get struck before it rains or after it rains and not necessarily when it's raining. Uh, We've done shows here, James, just last month at Charlotte, I do support for NASCAR events. And we always say we hate the lightning delays because it's not technically raining. So you can suggest, you can tell people, hey, you need to seek, seek shelter, but a lot of those people don't seek shelter until they actually feel the rain as, as the rain's the actual threat that uh, that makes people seek shelter instead of the lightning. And so, you know, with what you guys are, are working with, that hopefully will help sports teams and, and concert goers and things like that to say, hey, you know, we see the ingredients that lightning is possible in this particular area. So uh, I can see where the, that data really you know, I can support that because I see with my own eyes, people really don't take action until it's raining. And by then it's too late. Right. And and that's, the, and that's the challenges. And then they seek shelter under the closest object sometimes, not knowing that, that the tree or the pavilion are not safe places to be. And then they're kind of stuck. Um, and so that's, that's kind of the message that we've been focusing on with the safety council. So you can have lightning strike up at 10 miles outside of where it's raining. And so if you're able to hear the thunder, you should head indoors. And that that's why it's always been said, thunder roars go indoors.